Here comes Ma Jingnan to take the gold medal in the under 52. Right, let's have a look now at the under 57 kilo category. There's the final. Dorj Surin Sumia of Mongolia faces Caitlin Quadros of Brazil. It's Dorj Surin in the white jidogi and Quadros in blue. We're about to get underway with the final of the under 57 kilo category for women. Quadras has managed to come up with um, some really nice techniques. You'd expect that from someone with her uh, her pedigree, but once in a while she'll really um, come up with something good. She defeated uh, Liu Yang of China in the quarterfinal and Kim Byolhi of uh, Korea in uh, the quarter-final. The second round match was against uh, another Chinese, Sun Rong, but she had a bye in the first round, so um, nice bit of work to bring her to this point. Quadras it is who picks up the uh, passivity warning, although I think I spotted uh, a gripping infringement there. It's always difficult, depending on what side they're on and which way the referee's facing. You may not have seen that, and the corner judge had his um, view obscured. But Quadras warned, and I think it was um, as a result of having that grip. She didn't like the grip that um, Dorj Suren had. So she took up an, an unorthodox one just around the wrist and she was just holding the wrist. And then picked up the passivity warning anyway. Didn't look that clever, did it? And now Dorj Suren. No, Quadras again. I thought Dorj Suren was going to get called for a drop there, but it's uh, Quadras who gets called for uh, passivity. He's going to have to cancel that. Maybe he was a little bit too harsh with that. I thought it was a drop for Dorj Suren. Mm. Yep, so they left the uh, the Shido against Quadros, but uh, Thotsarin was warned for a drop. I think rightly so. Pretty poor. That was a slightly better effort, but uh, only marginally.
you go a piece then, Dodger and, and uh, Quadros, but only from the penalties. We haven't been able to produce anything really uh, exciting yet. There's still a little bit of time. Quadros is known for uh, being dangerous, but she looks a bit, little bit lethargic uh, at the moment and uh, has gone behind now. That um, third penalty has um, really put Dordzer in, in the driving seat. She's got to um, just avoid um, giving away anything now, and she can take this. It's really difficult when a contest gets into this kind of um, state. The fighters seem to get uh, dragged into an unattractive um, battle, and neither of these fighters is um, unattractive. They just um, seem to get caught here, wrapped up a little bit in um, some judo that probably isn't the best that they've ever produced. Well... Referee's made a rod for his own back here by giving out that penalty. Was it absolutely necessary? I don't think it was. She was trying to find a, a way through. Threw the right leg out. Looked for an attack. It wasn't the best. And the attack failed. It's a failed attack, not a false attack. He penalised that the last time round. And now, the result of that penalty is that they go into golden score. Could have avoided this. <coughs> Referee decided to... Uh, call her Jimmy before he'd seen that the golden score period had been set. A little bit eager to get on with it. Quadras comes up with uh, an effort there. Not successful. We uh, continue on. 2.20 odd left to go. Two more finals to bring you after this one. Probably um, wrap up here by 7 o'clock. Maybe a little after. Yep, that'll do. Whatever happened was after the event, as far as uh, Quadros was concerned on this time. You can only hear the Brazilians shouting blue. <laughs> Dodd Surin, it is, who cements uh, Mongolia's place at the top of the uh, medal table here in that uh, win. <laughs> no, unfortunately, you were already on your back as a result of the throw. Quadros landing first as a result of the uh, technique 
from Dodzerin and then uh, rolling her partner over.